Hi and welcome to Microsoft Excel Masterclass. So gusto ko naman sana ituro ngayon kung ano ang tamang way kung paano mag-maintain ng database. And the database that I have right now is a sample messed up data. So this is not a good practice to have some merge cells dito tapos wala kang categorization, okay? So if you create a pivot report which we will do in the next session, if you activate pivot here and you click OK, you will not be able to see itong mga categories na to, which is um, nasa isang buong row sila. Okay, and then let's say equal D, ito yung mga kasama ni equal D, producer D, ito yung mga kasama niya. So what if you would like to compare itong mga categories na to? Pero hindi mo siya compare kasi wala ka namang column that will uh, describe itong mga um, categories na to, okay? Ang lalabas lang is yung mismo product or material description. This database is being used by a purchasing assistant in Qatar and this was shared to me and um, nakita ko dito pinaka problem is that hindi naka-organize yung mga categorization. So, what we're going to do before that, let's delete this one. What we're going to do is to clean this up and um, later on, I will be asking you to clean up a sample database as well, okay? So, when you're working with data, make sure you analyze your spreadsheet first, okay? Hindi yung kapag binigyan kayo ng raw data, sabak ka agad, gawa ka kaagad ng report. So, i-check mo muna, i-analyze mo muna yung mga formatting and then yung mga data types na meron ka. So, data types, ano ba yung mga sinasabi kong klase ng data is that um, you can see supplier name na meron siya mga alphanumeric characters. So, letters lang or special symbols ang content niya. And then, some would contain numbers. Yung iba, whole numbers na sila like this one. And then, yung iba, combination siya ng letters and numbers. Okay? So, mapapansin mo rin na sa column na to, LPO number, Meron siyang mga LPO number, ito mga four digits na yan. Tapos meron siyang mga cash na category. So, bakit nakamix up yung LPO number at saka yung word na cash, okay? Hindi ba dapat na category yung cash and LPO? Tapos yung mga nandito ay LPO number lang talaga. And then, another observation is that from A to C, okay? Ito yung unang-una mong sinecheck din. Um, if you're working with a database, kadalasan, pag binigyan tayo ng data, merong mga formatting issues yan. Merong mga naka-merge, may mga naka-hide na columns, may mga naka-hide na rows. Okay? So, pansinin mo yung sequence ng headers mo. So, A, tapos C na kaagad siya dito. So, nasaan yung B? So, you have to make sure na i hide mo yung mga columns na yon Okay? So, there are a lot of ways to do that. So, ang ginagawa ko usually is I click this one, right-click, and then unhide. Okay? Para lubabas yung column na yon Or, minsan, if, um, let's say, hindi siya nag-work, you can try clicking lahat ng cells mo, and then you can adjust the column, okay? Para lubabas yung mga nakahide na columns, alright? So, that's your second option. And then, since nakita na natin na meron pa lang nakahide na column, which is this one, you have to check bakit siya nakahide, hindi ba siya kailangan. So, if hindi siya kailangan, in database management, you can delete this one kasi mapapansin mo na zero lang naman yung laman niya. Unless you have a confirmation or sure ka naman na importante yung data na yon, pero wala pa talaga siyang data, Okay? So, let's delete this column temporarily, okay? And then, what we can do here is we, you should add another column, okay? Itong categorization na to na nag-merge ka ng cell, tapos ito yung content niya. Nag-merge ka na naman dito, tapos ito yung content. Mapapansin mo na merong pink, merong blue. So, bakit iba-iba yung kulay? ng labeling. Anong ibig sabihin ng yellow? Anong ibig sabihin ng blue? Okay? So, baka may ibig sabihin yan kung sino man yung um, gumawa ng database na to. Pero siya lang na nakakaintindi nun. That's why it's not really recommended to use 
uh, coloring, okay? Yung mga fill colors na yan, when you are dealing with categorization, kapag gumagawa ka ng mga categories, huwag mong kukulayan. Gumawa ka na lang ng column na merong categories, which we will do right now. So, let's add another column here. Insert. And then, ang ginagawa ko to clean up a database is that you click everything, go to home, and then you have here clear option. Clear all will clear everything. Lahat. Yung text, format, formulas, lahat. Okay? Your clear formats, format lang aalisin, pero yung text, yung numbers, nandiyan pa din. Yung content, aalisin niya yung mga laman, yung mga text, pero yung mga borders, fill colors, font, font style, nandiyan pa rin. Okay? Comments and notes, tapos yung hyperlinks, ayan, pwede niya rin alisin. Okay? Hyperlink, kanyo na pupunta ka sa website when you click that cell. Comments and notes, yung mga merong red na marker, kung meron kang note about that data. Okay? So, what I normally do is I click clear formats. Alright, so ito yung magiging output niya, narating yung mga text and numbers, yung formats lang yun na wala, like the border colors, fill colors, yung bold letters, okay? So, you are cleaning up a database and hindi pa naman importante yung mga formatting for now. So, what you can do here is we add payment channel column. Okay, dyan natin ilalagay kung cash or LPO ba ang Category, alright? And then let's add product category. Okay? So, in, in cleaning up a database, um, pwede mo siyang i-cut yung mga data na to. So, ang gagawin natin is, let's get itong mga merong yellow kanina, yung mga naka-merge. Okay? So, nung nag-clear formats tayo na wala din yung pagkaka-merge ng mga cells. Okay? So, yung merge is if you click more than one cell, you click home and click merge and center. And then, yung anim na cell ay naging isa na lang siya. So, if you're gonna type there, ayan. So, naging isa lang yung cell na yun. Okay? So, that's merging a cell. So, if you're gonna unmerge it, you can go back to home and click merge and center again. Pero kanina, nawala na yun dahil nag-clear like, formats na tayo. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'll transfer yung mga product category dito. Kailangan mo siyang itapat doon sa first record mo. Kasi kapag nilipat mo siya, let's say, control X, dito mo siya nilagay, enter. Wala namang laman to eh. So, wala naman siyang mga katabi. Okay? So, kailangan itapat mo siya kung saan merong content. Alright, so dito siya. So, Control x Enter. Sanayin nyo na gumagamit kayo ng arrow keys. Ang Enter ay one-time pasting. Okay? So, Control x Down, down. Enter. Control x Enter. Control x Enter. Konti na lang. Okay. And then, next is, ang kailangan mong gawin is kailangan mawala yung mga blank na rows na to. Okay. And then, next is, kailangan mawala yung mga blank rows na meron ka, kagaya ng mga to, kasi hindi yan allowed sa database management. If you have a split sa mga tables ninyo, let's say meron kang hati dito, okay? Ang mangyayari, ang interpretation ni Excel is that this is one table, this is another table, and this is your third table, okay? So, parang split yan in between tables, okay? So, we have uh, uh, another way to delete that, pero I'll show you the manual way muna since we are at the basic level pa lang naman. So, you can highlight that. Control, hold your control key so that you can click multiple cells, multiple rows, or multiple columns. So, click control key. So, press control key. Then, right click, then delete. 
So, now wala na tayong blank na rows. So, next is, we only have one labeling, let's say, ball valves. Ito lahat yung ball valves, okay? So, in database management, kailangan um, meron kang tatlong ball valves dyan, tatlong equal T or apat na equal T, for example. Pero long method yan, let's say you have 10,000 rows, you're not gonna do that one by one. So, we have another technique. So, you can... Highlight this one. Make sure you don't include yung header, okay? When you're working with clean up, sama mo lang is this part. Alright, so let's highlight this one hanggang dito sa dulo, okay? Kasi meron ka pang record sa row 50. Alright, let's press Control G, go to, alright, go to special, click blanks, click OK. So, pumunta yung, uh, so if you can see, na-highlight yung mga black cells, and then you have one here, naka-highlight yan, pero nakikita mo na parang white yung color niya, it means na that's your active cell. If you're gonna type in something, dyan siya mapupunta. So if you're gonna scroll down, lahat ng black cells, hin-highlight niya. Okay, and then what we're going to do is to type in equal sign. So, active cell yung kanina, kaya dyan siya lumabas. So, equal sign, then press up arrow key. And, bakit up arrow key? Kasi ang goal natin is to copy the values na nasa taas para ma-provide yung data na yon sa ibaba ba, itong part na to. For example, four ball valves. Okay? So, habang nag-blink yung B4 and habang umiikot yung um, line na yan, yung dotted line na yan, you can hold your control key. Hold your control key sa keyboard ninyo and then press enter. Okay? So, automatically, kinapi niya yung mga values na nasa taas. Pero as you can see, may mga formulas. Ito, lalabas siya na equal sign B6. Okay? B7. Ito wala. Ito meron. Okay? May mga formulas dyan. So, para hindi na maapektuhan yung spreadsheet mo, kailangan um, row lang siya and you can highlight this part. Copy, right click, space is special, values. Okay? Values lang para mawala yung mga formulas. Yung mga may equal sign, B7. Okay? So, paste special values yung tinatawag namin sa ganong method. Okay? So, now you have your product category and this is better kasi you can create categorization later on if you're gonna create a report summary. So, payment channel, let's type in here cash. Kasi cash yung meron ka dito. And then the rest are LPO. We have some cash here. LPO. And then the rest, cash. Alright, so that's your payment channel now. Let's delete the blank row sa taas. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin dito sa LPO number, let's delete yung mga word na cash. Or, what you can do is filter. Tapos, you can type in cash. Click OK. Highlight. Delete mo lang sila. Okay. Next is, you can filter this to blank. Tapos, type mo lang LPO or NA pala. And then type mo lang, not applicable, kasi cash sila. So, paste that, then clear. Okay, para magkaroon na siya ng note na hindi applicable ang LPO number, kasi cash yung payment. Alright? So, you can type in NA as well. Okay. So, this is better and this is a good database now. So, malinis na siya. What you can do is first disable the filter and then you can convert this to an Excel table. Okay? So, click insert, table, click OK. And then, this is a better version of that uh, report earlier. Okay? So, you can create slicer and then you can select material description or product category. Okay, and then um, easily you can compare yung mga product category and yung unit price niya. Let's say you would like to limit your data with um, the pipes lang, 
yung mga red junk or equality, ayan, you can easily control your reports. You can limit, you can slice and dice your data. Okay, just imagine mo kanina, yung template natin na yun, you will not be able to slice and dice it according to product category kasi you don't have that column before. Alright? So, so, for your assignment, you will be downloading this file. This is another database exported from a CRM tool or from an online tool, okay? So, sobrang daming um, problema ng database na to. And basically, what I would like to have is uh, you can place the clean database here. And what I really want is to consolidate itong mga values na to. Okay? Without the totals. Okay? So, itong mga naka-bold letters na yan, hindi yan kasama. And then, you should be able to consolidate everything here. And then, if you figure out na meron kayo nakita mga categorization, please add columns and create those categorization kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina. So, just try your best in cleaning up this database and... If you would like to add special features or use other features that you didn't discuss, as long as you guys can produce a clean version of this database, that's totally fine. Okay. So again, do not include the values na nakabold letters. Eto mga to kasi mga totals lang naman yan. And then place your clean database here and email it to me. So that's it, guys. So thank you.